Hey, what's up guys? Today's vlog is an update about what's been going on in our lives lately. The last couple of weeks have been extremely difficult for us in our community. Hurricane Michael ripped through our hometown on October 10th as a near category 5 hurricane, leaving the entire place unrecognizable. Our home was massively damaged and we are currently waiting on the structural engineer to find out if it can even be salvaged. However, there is a silver lining. Never before have I seen a city come together with such unity. Thousands of volunteers poured in from all over the nation as soon as they could. Charity and good deeds can be seen on every corner. People are offering generators, food, water, and the shirts off their backs for one another. In all of this ugly devastation, it's truly beautiful to see such a humane response from so many. Oh, and on top of all this turmoil, we've been scheduled for an induction on the 1st of November. This has been one wild month, but I believe everything happens for a reason, and everything will work out for the best in the end. ourselves at a pumpkin patch. It's nice. a nice gloomy day. That's good though. Nobody's here. Thing. Works out. Thing. We just came back from our appointment. Our last one. Last one. Uh, when are, uh, so what's, uh, what's going on now? What's been happening? So we set an induction day just because we are an hour away. And it's, drive. and every hospital available is packed into one. Yep. So uh, we set one on October the 31st at midnight, so technically November the 1st. So we have nine days. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. With everything, what have we been up to? I'll, like, tell them what we've been up to. Well, we'll definitely put a few clips of what's been going on. It's very, very sad, but it is about two weeks past that, so we're trying to really just make the best out of, out of everything. Um, we didn't lose our house, but we did have some problems and issues, but tomorrow we'll find out when the adjuster comes out. So hopefully, crossing our fingers, we get everything that needs to be taken care of. Um, and hopefully it's not a long process, because we've got a little baby on the way, and we need our home. But we've had some amazing people that reached out and helped us out. It's been pretty amazing. We have such an amazing family. Mila's doing really well. She's honestly been really, really good. And when I say good with, you know, her taking her naps and sleeping at night, she's still a wild child, which is okay. I think she's been still hurt th uh, through her terrible twos. I guess her 18 twos. She's what just loving it over here. Riding some pumpkins. <laughs> Does mommy Riding some pumpkins. Pictures? All right. But yeah, so. What's the pumpkin say? Miss Mila is just being so sweet. You gotta go. <laughs> ride a pumpkin, ride a pumpkin. <laughs> Aww, so At least you're happy. having fun, girl. Well, that's what we're trying to do is yeah. just, you know. Keep her entertained yeah. and uh, try to keep some. Can't be sad, you some, know. Some bit of normal life for her. Exactly. We've been trying our best yeah. and trying to get out of the house as much as we can because not much is open right now. Um, this is the only pumpkin patch right now which we actually came here last year. We have a very cute little photo of Mila and her little friend when, I think Mila was like, what, seven months? She was very oh little. She didn't even walk yet. So now she's just all over the pumpkins. Careful, yeah, baby. It's been nice just to get some fresh air. Um, and just to see Mila smile. She's just so cute when she has a good time. So we're just gonna continue the next few days enjoying every moment we can and try to prepare for this next baby we're definitely not that prepared but you can never be prepared you know for anything in this life but we're doing our best and we cannot wait to share what we're having we're so excited we're going to be doing a birth vlog so definitely definitely stay tuned it's going to be an awesome one well we're hoping um <laughs> if everything goes Girl. planned Oh, she's strong. Picking up, <laughs> picking up the big ones. What are you 
doing, Pinky? Uh, oh, you're oh. You. It's tough sometimes, but you're okay. She's a little dirty. It's okay. But yeah, so uh, that's what's been going on. But things could be worse, I guess. Right, Jared? They could. Hopefully everything. So we have insurance, so yeah, a lot of people have didn't. So. The house, so I'm very thankful for that. A lot of people don't. A lot of people lost everything. That's what I feel bad for. That's very, very sad. A lot of people had to move out of town because they literally have nothing here. No family, no job, no nothing. So I'm just grateful and thankful for everything we have. Um, and just hopefully this baby is healthy and we'll just continue life. Right, Mila? And I'm excited for Mila to be a big sister. And there's my angel. All right, Daddy, continue, continue running, 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 running. This way. This Let's way. go. Way. Ah. Come on, Sinker. Good girl. Careful. Going downhill, you hold my hand. Hold Daddy's hand. See, I'm independent, Daddy. I know. Don't worry, mine too. Here's my bubbies. Cute little cabin right by the water. It's a nice little view. We're looking through the windows <laughs> in these little cottages. They're so cute. Be careful. How cute is this? Can you see yourself living here, Mila? It's too small, Mama. Okay, give Mommy a hand. Deruchiku, Mama. Mila, deruchiku, Mama. Please. Okay. I'll just follow you. Because you're not listening to Mama. You want to go see more pumpkins? Go see more pumpkins? Come on. Bye. Bye. Nope. She doesn't care. We are back at the house. We had an awesome day today. We started off the morning with our last OB appointment, um, which we're so excited. We have nine days. And then we went to the pumpkin patch. We haven't done any fall activities this month since so much has been going on. Um, so it was very nice to get out and get some fresh air. Um, we just wanted to finish off the vlog by just updating you guys, you know, letting you guys know you know, since we haven't posted in a little while, just so much has been going on. Um, we've tried vlogging, but just so much has just been getting in the way. It's, it's kind of dangerous sometimes to vlog too, especially just if we're in the car or anything like that. There's so much yeah. crap in the roads from power lines and trees to, you know. Nails. Nails. Just, yeah. Especially in the beginning, power was out everywhere. Water was, there was no water. There was... You couldn't get through half the streets. It was nope. ridiculous. And they're still working on it. Yeah. We're currently on the so. beach, which is like, what, 20 minutes away from the in town. But in town, you know, still looks so horrible. And this is, and we're what, two weeks already in? Yeah. So. Um. But yeah, we'll definitely start vlogging um, right when our baby is arriving. I don't know. Yeah. We're going to do a birth vlog. Um, which I'm excited about. We'll Stay do, tuned for that. We'll do maybe like one more before. To just keep you guys yeah. updated. It's just difficult right now. We have so much yes. going on from um, cleanup and stuff like that. Insurance, contractors, all this stuff we're having to deal with. And we're um, staying in a one bedroom yeah. apartment. Cramped little place. But we're thankful for it. So. On top of everything with the house, we're trying to get ready you know, for the new baby and get everything out of the house that we're going to need yes. and just cleaned and ready. We're definitely not as prepared as yeah. we were with Mila, but yeah. It will, it will all work out. So yeah, that'd be good. we're thankful for everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's not the most exciting vlog, but we just wanted to keep you guys updated. And just stay tuned for our birth vlog. All right, we'll see you guys in our next vlog. Bye.